So I just came out of the train station and I was greeted by this less than ideal situation, the weather, it's drizzling. So that's the bridge that I'm going to sketch today, that's Reed Bridge, also known as Malacca Bridge. And I need to find a sheltered area to draw as well as set up my camera to record the time lapse. So it's going to be tricky. I'm under some shelter right now, so this is one possible view. But ideally, I would love to capture the boats on the river. Right now, I cannot even see the water. Let me go over to the other side and take a look. So those buildings there, those used to be warehouses. But they are, they are now all bars and restaurants. The problem with a rainy day is the places where you can sit and draw those places they are very limited so this is Reed Bridge built in 1889 this is a pedestrian bridge that took eight years to build it has been renovated several times and the design of this bridge is pretty straightforward so I need to find some way to jazz it up slightly I think I found a spot to draw There. I'm under this small little shelter here which is actually a pretty good spot for drawing. So this is the view I'm looking at. We have the shop houses, the warehouses in the background, those tourist boats there moving and this is the bridge. So I'll probably draw the side of the bridge today. Let me find a place to hang my back because the floor the ground it's wet i hope this doesn't fall off this by the way is the hero clip my back just fell so that's not the ideal sketching location i spotted an umbrella over there so i'm going to open up that umbrella so sometimes you just have to improvise And now I can hang my back there. I thought the rain was going to stop but it's actually getting heavier. Now I actually have a dilemma. Should I use the pen or should I use the pencil? If I use the pen and the raindrops hit the lines, I'm going to get ink splotches. I want the ink splotches. If I use the pencil, the style will be different from all the pen and ink sketches that I have done. And also the scene in front of me. This is a very wide panorama scene and my sketchbook it's well it's not wide enough so I may have to cheat a bit. So this is my completed sketch drawn with pencil. Unfortunately, the pencil that I have, the graphite is not dark enough. So this sketch doesn't have a lot of contrast and also the rain keeps splattering on my page. So I will not be able to use any watercolor here and the rain doesn't seem to be stopping. Did you hear that? So today is not my lucky day. I'm going to go home and ink the sketch before coloring it. I think that would be the wise choice. I don't think I can get anything done here out here today. So now I'm back at home to finish my homework from yesterday. So as mentioned earlier, this scene is supposed to be panoramic, but I've sort of managed to squeeze this into a single uh, pitch here 
So I'm not sure if this will work anyway. I'm going to ink this and paint over it, but most likely I may have to go back again to draw this on location with a wider piece of paper. Alright, so this is the completed sketch. The colors that I used were Hansa Yellow Medium, French Ultramarine, and French Vermilion. Now the bridge, it doesn't look that um, obvious. It doesn't look like it's the main subject. I think the coloring is alright, but the bridge is not that prominent. So I may really have to go back and draw. I do have an idea on where I can draw when I go back again. I will probably sit here so that I don't have to draw all this um, obstruction that is blocking the bridge. That way I will be able to see the whole bridge. Here's a closer look. So the colors that I've used here are definitely more vibrant, more colorful compared to the gloomy rainy day yesterday and the water here it's more blue in real life the water is actually murky green or brown this is the underside of the bridge i like the texture the granulation from french ultramarine you can still see traces of the pencil lines but um, most of them were covered with watercolor but on the white paper, you can still see some pencil lines. Hopefully after I scan this in, I can do some adjustments to remove those lines. So here, this part here, it's quite complicated, but mm, I think it works. Uh, it works fine, it's all right. I've just scanned the sketch and this is how it looks after I've adjusted the levels. I can still see the pencil lines on Unfortunately, um, some of the pencil lines are actually behind the watercolors, so those are almost impossible for me to erase digitally. But for these lines that are on the white paper, I can still erase them. But um, if I erase some lines but don't erase other lines, it's going to look a bit weird. So I'm just going to leave this like it is. Let me show you the other sketch that I sketched before this. So this is Elgin Bridge. This was sketched on location. And I actually made the sketch again for my patrons to create a tutorial. So if you are a patron, you can watch this tutorial video already. The link is on my Patreon page. I actually kind of prefer this version that was drawn at home compared to this that was drawn on location. I think I put in a bit more thought into the design. We have up and down, up and down. We have some 
positive shapes and negative shapes but for this sketch here it's this is pretty much filling the whole page there is not a lot of empty space so that's why i prefer this one with some positive and negative shapes my target is to complete all the drawings for the bridges along Singapore River by the end of this month. Today is the 14th of June, so I'm probably going to be able to do that, hopefully. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding drawing, watercolor, urban sketchings, do let me know in the comment section below. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye!